You know what guys, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of people teaching other people how to make money online when they don't even make money online themselves. We made six figures in six days and I'm gonna show you how we did it and how you can do this no matter who you are. I promise you, you are going to benefit from this video. So watch this bumper video and then I'm gonna get right into it, let's go. All right, cool. My name's Kale. Welcome to the channel. Hit the subscribe button. There are free Amazon FBA mini courses and Facebook ads mini courses. The first link in the bio. Got to say that for all of you people that want to learn more and actually make money like I'm about to show you. But here's the deal, okay? This is my computer screen from last week. Six days. You can see the dates over here. Can you guys see this? I'm holding a computer. What? Okay, whatever. Six days. $124,000 in revenue only cost us ten thousand dollars it's a real web page this is wicked reports this is how we do all of the reporting the accounting for our company okay so hundred and twenty five thousand dollars in six days this is real I'm gonna talk a little bit more about where the money came from but just so you guys know this is actually happening to our company to us and, and I want to throw this out there you're probably thinking I don't have anything to sell I don't have any products I don't have a service I have nothing to sell how could I possibly make that type of money? This video is not for me. I just want to say this right off the bat, okay? These eight things that I'm going to tell you, I'm going to go through the top eight reasons why we were able to make 125K in six days. These eight things will, will apply to any business, anything, literally anything making money online for the next 20 years, okay? This video will never go out of style. This video will never get old. This video will still be applicable in 20 years for any Thing that involves making money online so let's get into number one. Oh, and by the way you might want to stay till the end because these eight things will literally change your life would hundred and twenty five thousand dollars in six days make a difference just think for a second what would you buy with an extra hundred and twenty five thousand dollars okay now stay till the end so you can get the knowledge all right here we go all right so here we go we're gonna break this down a little bit more in wicked so we got total of hundred and twenty five thousand dollars where did the money come from the first chunk and this is tip number one is from our email list. Okay, so if I filter this by our email list, $57,000, almost half, or almost, yeah, almost half, came from our email list, guys. Isn't that crazy? It came directly from our email list. Our email list, you, you won't even believe this, guys, is only 15,000 emails. And when it comes to email lists, that's actually pretty small. It's not about the how large your email list is, it's about the quality of your email list, okay? And so there's a lot of people on the internet and they're going, oh my gosh, email is dead. No one even opens emails. When's the last time you opened an email? You should just get a messenger bot. It's the best. Like you get so many open rates. Okay, screw that. F that, okay? Messenger bots are great. You can use them for a variety of things. Emails still work, okay? The reason people aren't opening your emails, the reason people aren't doing anything with your emails is not because email is broken. Everybody still uses email. You know people still read emails, right? Like literally the whole world, okay? And so when you're sending out emails, if they're not getting opened, if they're not getting clicked, if they're not getting delivered, that is a separate issue. Number one, deliverability, okay? Real quick with your email list, you can't be, there are a lot of different rules. You have to send the right stuff so that it doesn't go to the spam folder. If it goes to the spam folder, people won't open it. And a lot of you guys are sending emails that are going to the spam folder. And there's a lot of ways around that. There's other videos on the channel about that, okay? Number two, your content. You're not writing anything good. Your subject lines are like, hey, open this email. And everyone's like, eh, I'm good, bro. I, I don't want to open that email. You have to write something catchy like, hey, 24 hour sale, open this right now or the world is going to freaking end, right? You have to get them to take action and then the actual copy in your emails have to be good. You have to say, oh my gosh, you have to write in a funny way. You have to be engaging. You have to look like me. You have to be like, send a picture of yourself looking all smooth. I'm just kidding, but you have to make it fun, guys. That's how we were able to do it. We engaged our audience. We, we made them click, we made them open, and then we offered them an extreme amount of value. So that's the number one thing, guys. For any business, for anything you're trying to do online, your email list is your number one most powerful asset, okay? So whatever you have to do to grab email addresses, this is the biggest key. If you watch the rest of our channel, 
guys, please, please don't let me lose you here. If you watch the other videos on our channel, there are a million ways to grab email addresses no matter what you do for cheap. You can run Facebook ads. You can put links just organically on Facebook. You can do YouTube videos. You can go out and literally physically ask people for their email addresses. There are so many ways to get email addresses. Do not discount number one. The number two biggest key to making crazy money online is that you do not need a super humongous social media following in order to make that type of money. We made $125,000 in six days, remember? Look at this, guys. Okay, so $57,000 was from our email list. Let's sort Facebook ads. Okay, 29,000 was from Facebook ads. So that's total, let's just say 30 and 60, that's $90,000. We have 124,000 total, so that's only another 35,000 or so. I'm not good at math on the fly, whatever. That's another 35,000 or so that came from our YouTube channel, okay? So the majority, the vast majority of our money came from sources that are not YouTube. Many of you people are out there thinking, Kale, you have 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. Of course you're rich. Duh, all these people are watching your videos and they're just clicking your links. And that's not true, okay? L literally, the majority of the money that we made during that week was all because of emails and Facebook ads. And guys, it doesn't take long to run a Facebook ad. It probably takes an hour. It's to, to set up a successful Facebook ad, it literally took us eight months to get 10,000 subscribers. Eight freaking months! So if you're one of those people that doesn't want to you know, grow a huge Instagram or you don't like being in front of a camera, don't despair. It's all good, right? You can still make a ton of money, learn how to run Facebook ads, learn how to gather email addresses, and you can use Facebook ads to get email addresses, and you're going to be just fine no matter what your business is. You guys still with me? Key number three. Key number three to making serious money online is that urgency is everything. Why did, a, why did so many people, why did $125,000 worth of sales come in our door in six days? One of the biggest reasons is we put urgency on people. We said this is a launch week. It doesn't even matter what we were selling, guys. That's why I haven't talked about what we were selling because that doesn't matter. No matter what your business is, this applies to you, okay? But the urgency was the key thing, right? We're selling these products and we said, look, these sales are going to expire Sunday night at midnight. It's Monday, they're gonna expire Sunday night at midnight. If you look at our sales, literally just look at this, guys. If you look here, um, okay, so you see this little graph right here, like how it goes, wee, wee. Okay, see how at the very beginning when we first started the sale, a bunch of people jumped on. Then during the middle of the week, people were like, uh, I'm procrastinating, I'm, I'm busy, I don't wanna do your sale, <laughs> no. And so then at the end of the week, they're like, oh shit, the sale's running out. I'm gonna click and buy. You see how it literally is graphically represented by urgency. People are like, okay, wow, cool sale, they buy. Then they forget, then they're like, oh my God, the sale's ending, and then they buy more, right? You get that. So, all you gotta do is give people a deadline. Make the deadline real. Obviously on Sunday night, we said the prices were doubling and the prices doubled. I don't know if you guys watched it happen, but it happened, okay? And so, if you're doing it, whatever you're doing a sale for, no matter what you're selling, no matter what you're trying to make money online with, you need to make the urgency real. You say, hey, at X deadline, this shit is gone, okay? It's either gone forever or the price is doubling or something is happening that people do not want to happen. They don't want to lose out on the deal. They don't want to lose out on that. And you make that urgency huge and you just pound them with it, pound them with it, pound them with it. You're like, hey, five more hours. Hey, two more hours. Hey, one more hour. And just watch the money roll in. I don't know if you guys know this, but like people respond to this. It works. Why do you think they have Black Friday sales? Why do you think they have Cyber Monday sales? They're not doing it just for, oh, it's just a fun holiday, ha <laughs> ho. Everybody run to the mall, get together. Everybody bump fists with everybody else who's trying to get the money. No, they make it a deadline because it makes you feel like you're gonna miss out. Even if that sale is there next week, you don't know that. You're never gonna know, you're never gonna go back and check. So they make it feel like you're going to miss out. This sale is gonna end, oh, I might miss out. I might never get that TV, I might never have it. And then you go and buy it because you panic and you freak out. It's exactly what you should do with urgency. That was number three. Guys, I got eight of these. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Okay, number four. Okay, sales are great, right? Sales are amazing. You need to have sales, but here's the thing. And by sales, I mean not like selling a product. I mean like a percentage discount. Like, okay, 50% off, 25% off, $100 off, $50. You need to have a sale, but the wording is everything. So guys, soak this in, okay? A, the wording of your sale. So like if, if, if the sale is less than $100 value, right? So if you're, if you're offering your product for 20 bucks and now it's $10, 
it's better to say it in terms of 50% off, right? Because you went from $20 to $10, say 50% off, because that sounds like a bigger discount than $10 off, okay? Does that make sense? If the value of the sale is over $100, okay, then you're going to do the value of the sale in dollars. So we had 50% off sales going, but the sales were saving people like $1,000. So we weren't gonna say 50% off, jump on it now, you're gonna want, you're, you're gonna be very disappointed if you miss out. No, we said $1,000 off today only. Are you serious? You're gonna miss out on $1,000 off? $300 off, all of that stuff, right? Because that added more urgency than saying 50% off. So that is what I'm talking about with urgency and with your language when it comes to your sales. Make sure that your sales are worded in a way that makes more sense. $1,000 off for 50% off, stuff like that, okay? That is number four. Okay, number five key to making money online no matter what you're doing, no matter who the hell you are, okay, is to get all touchy feely and I'm not talking about grabbing each other and just going hey I just want to touch you you seem like a nice person um, mwah. no that's not what I mean what I mean is that you need to be touching people like virtually on every single platform while you're running these promotions these sales these urgencies whatever you're doing okay so what we did is we sent out emails okay so the emails are getting sent out look you got five days you got four days you got three days but that's not all we're doing. We're doing everything at once. We're doing the emails, then we have the YouTube channel. The YouTube channel is saying five days left, four days left, three days left. Then Facebook is saying five days left, four days left. Facebook ads are saying five days left. Instagram is saying, hey, hurry the frick up. Taylor's Instagram is saying, hurry up, hurry the frick up. And all of these things, people are seeing us everywhere. They're like, why are you touching me? Why are you, oh my God, oh, how do I escape this? And so they're, they're not gonna forget, is basically what I'm saying. You need to make sure, even if you don't have a YouTube channel, if all you have is like a Facebook and an Instagram, that's totally fine. You should be running your sale on your email list, on Facebook and on Instagram, so that every time people see you and interact with your brand, they're like reminded, oh shit, there's a sale, I gotta do something, right? Because a lot of people will read an email, they'll forget about it, and they'll go on Facebook, or they'll forget about it, they'll go on Instagram, but then they see you again. Does that make sense? Okay, so you need to follow them everywhere and get touchy-feely. That was number five. Okay, number six. You guys still with me? Whew, I'm like, I'm like jacked up about this. Number six is that confidence is everything. So a lot of you are sitting there at home and I know you're seeing me and you're thinking to yourself, okay, this guy's six foot eight, ho. Can you guys see how tall I am? Look at this. Yeah, yeah, I'm like six foot eight, okay? This guy's six foot eight and he's got a line in his haircut and he's got green eyes and he talks to the camera in such a way. I just, I don't know if I could ever do this. I couldn't be such a salesman as Kale. Well, here's the thing, okay? First of all, I'm not that great, not that cool. Stop putting me on like some weird pedestal. You can do this too. And the second thing is, the only reason I, I had the ability to, to make $125,000 in six days was because I was confident in what I was selling. So if you're selling shit, if you are selling, if this, is a big pile of poop. Like if this is a, instead of being a candle, this is a jar full of poo. You're not gonna be confident saying, hey, $100 off this can of poop. It's $100 off and it is just a great deal. No, you're not going to. And, and it gets annoying, cause you're like, oh my God, I have to, I'm sending six emails a day, I'm sending all these Instagram posts, I'm sending all these Facebook things. And you start to think, good Lord, I'm just a salesman. I'm a, I'm a used car salesman. I freaking hate this. I hate it. I feel like I'm barraging people. People are getting mad at me. They're like, shut the hell up already, right? But if you have a great product, at the end of the day, you're, you're thinking to yourself, well, even if a few people get annoyed, even if a few people are like, ah, oh, this guy, this guy again. Well, the people that actually buy it are going to benefit. Their lives are going to change and they're going to be forever in a better place, right? So that's why I had, the, I had the confidence to go ahead and do it. So if you're selling something, make sure you believe in it. Make sure you actually want to promote it because of, because of it, its intrinsic qualities, right? Number seven, we got two more, stick with me. Okay, so this is being ready to answer questions. And this might be simple. This might sound really, really stupid and really simple. But if you have a product or a service or whatever you're trying to make more money on, you need to have a way that people can ask you questions and you can interact with them. I would say that 90% of that money that we made all came after we answered a question. Like someone would be like, okay, so the software you're selling, what, does it do this? Or 
the thing you're selling, does it do this? And we were like, yeah, it does this. And then they bought, right? People want to interact with brands these days. It's not the days of like, of like Coca-Cola and all these big brands where you couldn't interact with a person are gone and dead, right? The brands that are winning are the brands where you can call up a real human being or text them or email them or whatever and say, hey, like, what's the deal with this product? Like, can you help me out with this? What the hell is going on with this product? And then if they get an answer from a real human, they trust the brand. So that's what I would say. And that's, gonna, that's only going to continue. If you're watching this video in 20 years, that is going to continue. You need to have just the, your arms tight around your people, around your crew, around your loyal following, so that when they ask you a question, you're right there and you're ready to respond. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so then number eight, guys, this is the biggest one, and I save this till the end for our nine family because all you people stay till the end of the videos and you get the biggest value. You need to build a trust pillar. Picture a pillar. Picture something, picture like something as tall as me, but a pillar. Like a Okay, you need a trust pillar. What the hell is a trust pillar, Kale? Okay, a trust pillar is a place where you can send everybody where they can see social proof of how good your brand is. Okay, so for us, it was YouTube. While YouTube didn't contribute to a lot of our sales, it was like one third of our sales during this week, that doesn't really matter. What we did was we were sending people to YouTube where they saw, okay, these people have 10,000 subscribers, they get a bunch of nice comments on every video, people seem to like them, they seem likable, they seem like normal humans, like I don't know, they have cool gear, like they just seem like normal people, right? And so for us it was YouTube, that was our trust pillar, it was a place where we could send people where they would get trust with our brand. With you, it could be literally anything. It doesn't have to be YouTube, okay? So it could be a Facebook page. You send them to your Facebook page, it has a few likes. People are commenting. It looks like it's a real business. That's your trust pillar. Send people to that so they're like, they can verify for themselves just in their heads like, okay, this is a real business. This actually makes sense. Like I'm not gonna get scammed, all that type of stuff, right? A website is a great one. You have a really polished, nice website. Just send people to the website. People will be like, wow, okay, I trust this website. This is great. Instagram would be great if you have a lot of followers. Um, there's a bunch of different things. Like even like a LinkedIn. If you're like a providing like a service or like a consulting thing, if your LinkedIn has a has great qualifications as well laid out, even LinkedIn could be great, right? So it doesn't have to be YouTube. It doesn't have to be anything like that. But you have to build your trust pillar. Okay, I'm super out of breath. We really made $125,000 in six days though. So I felt like I should come to you, YouTube, and teach you guys how to make money online because you're learning from people that aren't really doing it, okay? Stop watching all these other channels. I mean, I don't know if these people are who they are, what they're doing, a lot of them are scamming you, okay? Start to listen to the people that actually have your best interests at heart. Come join the Nine Family, hit the subscribe button, and let's do this thing, man. We're putting out content every single day, and like, name another channel that is providing as much value as us. Like, I will wait. Okay, so click that subscribe button, tell other people about us, and I will see you guys in the next one. I love you guys so, so, so much. Peace out.